Welcome back to the SketchUp Beginner course, Learn 3D Modeling from Scratch. In Chapter 1, Episode 7, we will continue modeling the residential building. So if you haven't watched the last episode, you will find the link in the video description. And for everyone else, we're starting right now. Since we saved our project in the last episode, we can access it directly from SketchUp's main menu. Once you saved your project locally, you can click on open and select the SketchUp file you've downloaded by clicking on my computer. The default download folder on Windows is right here. The SketchUp files always end with .skp, which is the short for SketchUp. I will now close the window and open the file from the cloud instead. Once we have selected our project, we can continue in this episode, we will finish the modeling by adding doors, windows, a balcony, and a swimming pool. But if we look at our house from the front, we should notice that it's too small for a balcony. But we know from episode 5 of chapter 1 that we can scale objects afterwards. We can drag a selection around the house by holding down left mouse button. Then we select the scale tool and adjust the height and the width of the building. Now the house should be big enough to add a balcony. We pick the select tool and click into the 3D viewport to deselect the house. We are now working on the front door. So select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle on the front side. While we are comparing it to the default sketch, it's easy to estimate the height for the door. We can also pay attention to the golden section, but it's not necessary. Before we continue with the windows, we have to create guidelines in order to draw all windows at the same height. To do this, we will pick the so-called tape measure tool, which can be found right here. We begin by left-clicking on the lower edge of our house then move the mouse to the desired height. SketchUp snaps automatically as soon as we touch an existing point with the mouse. We confirm by left-clicking. Let's create a second guideline below the first one. This time we define the height without a fixed position. We then orbit around the house to add both guidelines to each side. Make sure to start at the bottom of the house before you left click and touch the previous guidelines with the mouse to snap them into place. Now add them to the back of the house and the left side of the house. We orbit back to the front side and select the rectangle tool. Start at the first guideline. Draw the window and let the shape snap to the lower guideline. On the right side of the house, we can draw several windows next to each other. If we pay attention to the golden section, we can make sure that all windows are the same size. At the back of the house, we draw a panorama window. And on the left side of the house, you can get creative and create your own window design. Alternatively, I will show you how we can transfer the windows from the right side to the left side. To do this, let's orbit to the right and use the select tool. Then select the first window. Now hold down the shift key and add the other two windows to the selection. To copy these shapes, we then press Ctrl and C. Then we orbit back to the left and select the wall. Now press Ctrl plus V to insert the windows. Now place them with the mouse and confirm by left clicking. With this method, we can transfer recurring shapes quickly. 
when all windows are drawn, we can remove the guidelines. Therefore, we use the panels on the right. Under display, we can click on this button to delete all guidelines at once. To close the panels, click on the arrow in the upper right corner. We will now get to know another modeling tool so that we can create the door and the window frames. The offset tool. By left clicking, we can select the face of the door and when we move the mouse, we can offset the face. Left click to confirm. For our window, we can create a separate offset. And to transfer it, we orbit around the house and apply a double click on each window. Here on the side, on the back side, and the left side of the building. Finally, we create another offset on our chimney. If we then select the push-pull tool, we can finish the chimney by modeling the inner opening. And then we can model the door frame. If we then select the bottom face, we can create the recess for the door. Then we model the first window frame and double click on all other window frames around the house. On the right side, on the back, and on the left side of the house. The balcony is still missing. To draw the shape for the balcony in the middle of the house, we need the tape measure tool again. We start on the left side of the house and confirm on the inner tip of the roof. Then we select the rectangle tool and place it at the desired height on the guideline. Now left click and then press the control key on the keyboard. This way we can draw the shape from the center. Then we define the size and confirm by left clicking again. For the balcony door, we also start at the guideline. This time we don't have to press the control key because the shape is already drawn from the center. We draw the rectangle up to this line and confirm by left clicking. Now pick the select tool, select the guideline by left clicking on it and press the delete key to get rid of it. Then we use the push-pull tool to model the floor for the balcony. With the eraser, we can remove these two lines. Then select the offset tool to create the offset for the balcony railing. Again, select the push-pull tool and extrude the railing. Now we will select these faces and extrude them towards the house wall. Then use the eraser to remove these lines that we no longer need. With the offset tool, we can create the door frame. And with the push-pull tool, we can model a door frame and a lower recess. Now let's get creative and make a springboard from our balcony that will lead into the pool. To draw the springboard in the middle of the balcony, we pick the line tool. To draw a connecting line on the left and the right side. Now we can draw this center line where we can place the rectangle tool. So when we select the rectangle tool, it will now snap to the center of this line. Let's click with left mouse button and then press the control key to draw the rectangle from the center. We move the mouse to the connecting line and confirm by left clicking again. Then use the eraser to remove the lines that we no longer need. 
select the push pull tool and extrude the recess to the floor. Then left click to select the face again and complete the recess. Now we can extrude this face towards the outer edge. And when we select the face again, we can finish up our springboard. To avoid breaking our legs when jumping down, we should also model the pool, don't you think? So we select the circle tool and then enter 100 using the number keys on your keyboard. Confirm with enter to make sure that our circle will be nice and smooth. Now we move the tool over the top line of the springboard and stay with the mouse at the center for 1 to 2 seconds. So SketchUp will recognize that we need a reference to that center point. When we now move the mouse slowly beneath the springboard, SketchUp automatically snaps to the center point and we can left click to confirm the shape at this position. Now we confirm the size. And to make sure that the pool is on the same level as the house, we select the move tool, click on our circle, press the up arrow key on the keyboard and move the mouse to a corner of the house. Now confirm by left clicking. We can now switch to the offset tool and create a minimal offset inwards. After confirming the offset, we can model the pool border with the push pull tool. To fill the pool with water, we extrude the inner circular area upwards and confirm the position below the pool border. To close the bottom, we select the line tool, then draw a line from one side to the other. And finally, use the eraser to delete the line. Now we will wrap it all up and update our project by clicking on save. Our project is now updated in the cloud. You can also download the file if you want. Yes, the 15 minutes are already over, but to fully focus on color designing the building, we will have an eighth episode on the topic on using materials and textures. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. And I will catch you up in the next episode.